Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got these two semicircles whose radii are 2 and 7 respectively, as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the distance between these two semicircles is 4 units. And now we are going to calculate the distance x between these two points of tangencies c and d. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and recall tangent to a circle theorem. And here's a tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So that means the angle between this tangent line and these radii, this angle is going to be 90 degree and this angle is going to be a 90 degree as well. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And let me make it one thing very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular BE from this point B onto some point E on this radius AD such that BE and CD are parallel. And here we have got this rectangle E, B, C, D as you can see over here. And now let's recall the definition of a rectangle. A rectangle has four angles each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite side of a rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel. As you can see in this figure, all of these angles are 90 degrees. So that means these two opposite sides are going to have equal lengths. And likewise, this side is going to have same length as this one. If this is x, then this eb is going to be x as well. And this, if this cb is 2, then this ed is going to be a 2 as well. So we can write cd equal to be and we know that our cd is x. So that means our this be is going to be x as well. And likewise, BC is going to be ED, and we know that BC is 2, so that means our ED is going to be a 2 as well. Now let's focus on this radius of this purple semicircle. We know that this whole radius is 7, this distance. We know that this is two units so this has got to be 7 minus 2 is going to be 5 so therefore this AE distance is going to be 5 units and now once again let's focus on this purple semicircle we know its radius is 7 so once again this is also a radius of this purple semicircle so this is going to be a 7 as well and now let's focus on this green semicircle we know its radius is 2 so therefore this radius of this green semicircle is going to be to as well and just keep in your mind that these points a and b are the centers of these semicircles as you can see in this figure so thus the total distance between these points a and b is going to be the sum of these numbers 7 plus this 4 and then plus this 2 and if we add these numbers 7 plus 4 plus 2 that is going to give us 13 so thus our distance a b is 13 and moreover we know that this distance b e is x 
And here's our final step. Let's focus on this right triangle, this shaded right triangle, A, E, B. And here I have copied it down separately. And we know that our A, E is 5 units, so this side has got to be 5. A, B is 13, so that means this side is 13. And our B, E side is x units and since this triangle AEB is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case this side EB I'm going to call a this side AE I'm going to call this side B and this longest leg this hypotenuse I am going to call this side C and here's our Pythagorean formula A square plus B square equal to C square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks we know our A value is X so this is going to become X square plus B is 5 square then equal to C is 13 square let's simplify x square plus 5 square is 25 equal to 13 square is 169 let's move this 25 on the right hand side so we got x square equal to 169 minus 25 so that means x square turns out to be 100 and 44. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. The square and square root they undo each other. So our x value turns out to be positive or negative 12. And now since x represents the length so it must be positive. So that means we are going to pick x equal to positive 12 only so our x value turns out to be positive 12 so thus our answer turns out to be x equal to 12 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye